Hey Rockets, it's Colette Pledger here with your Rocket Report this week. And this week we have Dr. Hope, our Superintendent of Schools, as our guest. And we are going to talk with you about something called the Teacher Incentive Allotment. So can you tell us what that is? Well, the Teacher Incentive Allotment was one of the uh, items that came out of House Bill 3 in our last legisl legislative session. Uh, if everyone remembers, the biggest part of that uh, legislative session was the increase in teacher salaries. So this portion is an optional portion the, the district can uh, go in with the state to do, uh, but it is again another financial part that can help our teachers. Um, it's based on recognizing and rewarding the high performing teachers, especially in high needs area and in rural areas, but it's looking at helping with the high performing teachers and allowing additional compensation for that as they help our students achieve their goals. Right, so one of the goals of Teacher Incentive Allotment is to recruit and retain teachers as far as the state is concerned, and so there's a more equal distribution of teachers in high needs areas right. or in rural campuses. So what, um, how could that benefit our teachers and Robinson ISD? Well, the very first thing is, it always is gonna benefit our, our students because our teachers are performing at the highest level. Uh, we're very blessed to have so many teachers that do such a fantastic job and love our kids as well as they do in, in teaching them and guiding them. Um, but it, it would be so nice, uh, again, for them to have an additional compensation from the state for that effort. So I think that's a, a benefit. And again, when we're looking at the TIA, when we talked about it being optional, this does not move forward unless our teachers want to do this. Uh, it's not something the district's gonna say, hey, we're gonna do it. Um, we're in the process of talking with our, our staff right now and trying to look at a designated plan. Um, if it works for us, fantastic. If it doesn't and our teachers don't want to do it, then, then we don't move forward. So the good news is with TIA, it's really not extra work for teachers to necessarily mm -hmm. have to do. Um, it's based on T-TEST, which is our evaluation system, and then student growth, which we already are required to do with T-TEST. We use student learning objectives in Robinson ISD. So it's not really extra work, it's just really rewarding those teachers that, that show great student outcomes and student growth and, and demonstrate that effectiveness in the classroom. So can you tell us what steps are currently taking and what steps we have going forward in Robinson? Well, we've already started talking with uh, teacher leaders um, and uh, you and I and, and several others have been a part of Zoom meetings, webinars, including one yesterday. It was extremely helpful. Uh, TEA did one yesterday that was uh, very good for its question and answers. Um, so we are beginning that process because there are so many parts to it. So we're making some decisions on what, if we were to do a program here, do that program here, what does it look like? How does it benefit? What's the breakdown? All those different things that, that tie into that. The, and one of the main parts that they are doing with, throughout the state, not just within our district, is making sure that evaluations, when, when our administrators do evaluations, that it's calibrated that not only would it be a similar evaluation from any administrator in our district, but they're trying to make it where it would be where, no matter where you were in the state. So they partners with, partnered with Texas Tech University to help work on that ca calibration and we've already begun doing some yes. of the calibration. Yes, yes, it's been great to, um, to do some of that. That's something that we need to do anyway mm -hmm. in our district. So yep. uh, well, we are excited to continue to look at this. We are currently pursuing cohort D as part of the teacher incentive allotment. And you can find more information out through TEA's websites. And thank you so much for joining us this thank week. You. Have a great week. Have a great week.